let's go to Fox 5's Teresa Priello now at the Liberty Science Center in Jersey City for what's billed as New Jersey's largest astronomy party. Teresa, how's it going? Yeah, it didn't disappoint here either, Natasha and Steve. The day is ending here at Liberty Science Center, so everybody's filing out. But they're leaving happy campers today because of what they saw just a short time ago. So just like Steph Bertini, who's just across the river from us, we experienced 90.6% darkness here in Jersey City. It's the kind of thing that you really had to see to truly believe, and roughly 10,000 people around the Liberty Science Center did just that. They stood, they waited, they wore their special glasses, they looked, looked through high-tech telescopes, all to catch a glimpse of the eclipse. Just like Bobby was saying, it got a little darker, a little hazy, and a little colder as the darkness took hold here. But because New York and Jersey City and other New Jersey towns are such melting pots, we talked to people from all across the world. Everybody told us they wanted to see if the pictures that they had seen matched up in real life and the consensus here. This was incredibly cool, it did not disappoint, and it was a privilege to be able to see it close to home. Have you ever seen or experienced it? No, nothing like this, no. no. <laughs> you think you will again? Yes, yes, absolutely, if I have the opportunity. It's more cool than you see it, and then we're seeing with these glasses, the telescope, and just different experiences. I think it's, like, pretty good. My parents got to see an eclipse back in Venezuela when it had a total one over there, so they just kind of described me how it would happen, and, and I'm very, it was very accurate. It was, it was very exciting. It was not a total one, but I'll totally take it. <laughs> So now in a move that is sure to excite Steve Lacey, the Liberty Science Center ended the day by playing Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon in its entirety to, uh, with a light show in the planetarium. The next total eclipse, as we have been saying, is going to happen uh, in 2026 in Spain. I'm already booking my tickets. I don't know about you, Natasha. Maybe we could get the bosses to send us all over there to keep this coverage going. That's the latest from Liberty Science Center tonight. Back to you in the studio.